All right, December 2023, bronze problem two. Uh, this is a pretty interesting problem. Uh, let's talk through some of the insights that are necessary to solve it. Um, once again, I think, you know, pretty common is that for bronze, they'll give the sample inputs and outputs that will actually kind of point you towards some of those edge cases and those things to think about. Um, the first insight that I want people to have is that uh, really what matters is how many ones are in a row. Um, so uh, if you know how many ones in a row, you know, then you uh, can figure out, okay, how many um, times did that grow? Uh, how many nights did that grow? Um, so that was actually the first thing I, I did um, when solving it is, is go through um, and look at, you know, look at uh, all the new streaks and count streaks of ones and how, count how many they are and just actually um, let's then just have an array of um, how many uh, or the length of, of all the, the different streaks that are there. Um, so this would be, you know, just an array uh, with one value of five. This would be an array of three and one because um, this length is three and this length is one because it doesn't really matter how many zeros you have in between. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'd say that that's kind of the, the first step is, is thinking about, okay, what is the length? Um, the next step though, is looking at this, it kind of tells you that, um, you know, there's a, uh, no nights have passed in this example because it's not possible for this one to grow into this state where there's just a, a one by itself on the end. So um, that kind of points you to two things. One, that there's a limit to how many uh, nights and that will point you towards the solution. And then two, that, oh, the end is a little bit of a special case because it, it doesn't grow in the other direction. Um, so with those, you know, with those insights, that's kind of everything you need to solve it. Um, is thinking about um, how many nights uh, it's possible. And I suppose that means the minimum number of nights uh, to, to reach that. So um, one of the other things that kind of I got uh, sidetracked with was thinking about um, what if there's a even number of um of ones in a row. Um, what does that tell us? Um, really, that just means that, um, okay, there's two separate starter blocks that are growing together. Um, and, and, you know, touching by the end or, or, or touching at some point in their growth. Um, so whether that means you have uh, like zero, one, one, zero will grow into all ones and uh you know have an even length uh or something like zero one oops zero zero one zero will grow into you know all ones um so i kind of got sad track thinking about oh do, is this a special case that matters um Really, it's not because uh, we'll find that, uh, you know, it's it's still within the growth in the number of, of days of night uh, that matter. So um, what, um, yeah, I guess what I ended up doing was uh, uh, looking at the um, maximum turns, uh, maximum nights that's possible. Um, I picked a high value uh, just to start it off and wanted to take the minimum uh, every single time. So depending on the, the length of um, how many ones are in a row, um, the special cases being the end, and then the, a little bit of math for 
Um, okay, if it's a length of five, that means it um, started at one, so we can subtract that, and then um, doubled, you know, every time. So uh, that would mean it, it would be end up being two uh, two max turns there. Um, and then again, just kind of that math in reverse. Um, this is the growth rate. Um, and you can figure out how many um, starter blocks it took for that. Because um, if you have six ones in a row uh, and the maximum grow length is five, then you know, okay, it needs to have actually have started with two different um, starter blocks. So, you know, that's kind of the, the insight there. Um, again, really derived from... Um, this example showing you, oh, there's a constraint on how many nights have passed, um, and we can we can figure that out and uh, determine the um, maximum growth based on that number of nights, and um, uh, pretty pretty easily from there uh, get the solution. So yeah, really just a couple of insights. Count how many ones in a row. Um, notice that uh, there's a constraint on how many nights have passed, and there's a special case for uh, the growth being different on the ends. Um, but good luck solving it.